So there I was in, in my small holding in a caravan, big caravan, three bedrooms uh, and reasonable size bedrooms with a family, um, two kids going to school locally. And you wouldn't believe it, but within, I don't know, nine months or so, we had a knock on the door. Local planning officer said, um, I'm here from the council. We've had a complaint that you've put a caravan on this site. Um, no, we hadn't. There'd been a caravan on it. Um, rates were, had been paid on a caravan for donkey's years. People used to live there during the war. Um, and all this was common sense, but not to a group of planners who didn't like what they saw or the complaint they'd been given. And basically, I then had 17 years of fighting a planning department to uh, keep my land and, and keep the caravan. Um, it resulted along the way in bribing me with the council house um, to move the family to, which I did re reluctantly. And then I had to carry on the fight because they basically the council wanted to return it to a field uh, which had belonged to the farm next door once. I don't know who'd put the complaint in. Um, and as, as with many people in life, uh, my two sons grew up, um, there was a drifting apart, uh, and I had to go back to uh, my land on a regular basis. And um, really, this is where Leslie, who is very much part of Barbie, came into the story. Uh, she joined me and my problems on this uh, piece of land that we'd got. Uh, she didn't mind uh, fighting the planning department uh, and she'd uh, I'd met her through adventure and she loved, uh, she had a great uh, time climbing and all the other things we did. So that's uh, the next part of the story.